Hello vector fans. Today we're going to learn how to add vectors. So the first method we're going to use is we're going to add vectors by drawing. It's the simplest way to do it. It gives us a good visual for how this works when we get to the math part. So to add vectors, we do something called the tip to tail method, where you put the base of the second vector on the tip of the first vector. It'll look like you've created a path of arrows from the start to the finish, kind of like a treasure map. Our answer vector, called the resultant, is going to be the straight line from the very start of this path to the very end of the path. So it's kind of like the shortcut. So let's see how this works. So let's add these two vectors by drawing. So the first vector, 3 centimeters at 90 degrees. It's the red vector. It would look like this. Our second vector, the blue vector, 6 centimeters at 0 degrees. We draw that. Now we need to move the blue vector onto the tip of the red vector like so. Now vectors don't have a location, so you're allowed to move them all you want, just don't change the direction or the length. And our answer vector, the green vector, our resultant, is going to go straight from the base of the red vector to the tip of the blue vector. It's a shortcut from start to finish. That's our answer. We would then measure that with both a ruler and a protractor to figure out what the magnitude and direction are. It's called the tip to tail method, as I said, uh, because we put the tail of the second vector on the tip of the first vector. So let's add it mathematically. Adding with drawing is good, but it's just not as accurate as if you do things mathematically. So when we have perpendicular vectors, you're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. This is only for perpendicular vectors, though, because you have to have a right triangle in order to use this. And as everybody remembers, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared where A and B are the legs of the right triangle, and C is the hypotenuse, as you see in the picture. And you can rearrange that to be C equals square root of A squared plus B squared. Because a lot of times you're looking for the hypotenuse there. To find the direction, when you're drawing, you use a protractor and measure the direction of the resultant. But when you're adding them mathematically, we're going to use trigonometry to find the direction of the resultant. So let's review some trig functions. We have sine, cosine, and tangent are our three trig functions. Each function uses two sides of a right triangle. It must be a right triangle, otherwise it won't work. And when we're drawing our angles, when we're labeling our angles, we label them with the Greek letter theta, which you see there. Kind of like a circle with a line through it. So our three trig functions. We have sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent opposite over adjacent. And you can see on the right triangle over here that we have our angle theta and the leg that is opposite the angle theta we label opposite, the leg that is touching our angle theta we label adjacent, and our hypotenuse is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And an easy way to remember that is SOHCAHTOA, as you see at the top, so SOH means sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And you can figure the others out. So let's do an example. Let's find the magnitude of this vector mathematically. So we have a hiker who hikes 22 kilometers east. Let's draw that vector. Then 11 kilometers north. We draw that vector. We want to find the magnitude and direction of the hiker's displacement, which will be straight from start to finish. The red vector is going to be our resultant, and the theta is going to be the angle we're trying to find. So to find the resultant, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. We plug in the numbers we have and we solve for C, and we end up getting 24.6 kilometers in this case. That's just the magnitude though. Now we need to find the direction. To find the direction, we're going to have to use our trig functions. Now your calculator must be in degrees for this to work. Some calculators can be put into radians mode, which will give you strange answers. So let's, uh, we have two sides of this right triangle. We have the opposite side and the adjacent side, so let's use tangent here. So we have tangent is opposite over adjacent, which will be 11 kilometers over 22 kilometers. We figure out what that is, and then to undo tangent, we have tangent theta equals 0.5. To undo tangent, we have to use inverse tangent. On your calculator, that'll be the tan to the minus 1 button. So we do tan minus 1 of 0.5, and that will give us our angle which in this case is 26.57 degrees. Make sure your calculator's in degrees mode, 
or it won't look right. When we're finding angles mathematically, sometimes our calculator is going to lie to us. Well, perhaps lie is a bit of a strong word, but they just don't understand quite what you're looking for. What your calculator is going to give you is the angle between your vector and the closest x-axis, which, if you're in quadrant one, is going to be correct. If you're not in quadrant one, it may not be quite what you're looking for. For example, in quadrant two, where your angle should be between 90 and 180, your calculator is probably going to give you a negative value between 0 and 90. So you need to make sure you adjust those angles that your calculator gives you uh, so that you have the correct angle based on the quadrant you're in. We have the angle ranges in each quadrant listed here. Uh, a lot of times it helps to draw your vector so that you know what quadrant it's in, and then you can make sure your calculator is giving you the right answer. Uh, just always remember, it's giving you the answer of the degrees from your vector to the closest x-axis, not always the positive x-axis, which is what we want. So when you're doing vectors, we can draw them to add, or we can do math. Math is more accurate, maybe drawing is more fun, but a lot of times we're going to be doing the, uh, the math method. So until next time.